Hi guys, Dr. Gillard here. Let's do the cardiac exam. We're week seven, spring of 2020. Make sure you watch the video first. I did a video lecture on this, which will explain what I'm doing. All right, this is the precordial area. So if I say auscultate the precordial area, that's gonna be a general auscultation. So it's best that you go like this to show the examiner that you're not on the bell, right? We want to do this on the diaphragm, and then we're going to auscultate. I'm not going to put these in my ear so I can talk to you. Uh, notice the clavicles right here. You do not want to have your diaphragm up that high. That's too high. That's like the first intercostal space. You're going to get big points off. Uh, so it's, it should be down about a half a diaphragm length, about right there. Okay, so that's where, where we're going to start. And we're, for our lab, we're going to use a hopping technique. And this is exactly, if I'm, your, if I'm a student and I just ask myself to do the general cardiac exam, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to start here in the aortic area. I'm going to listen for three long seconds. I'm going to listen to the rate. I'm going to listen to the rhythm. I'm going to listen for murmurs. After three seconds, I'm going to hop over to the pulmonic area which is the second intercostal space left parasternal border. Listen for three seconds. I'm gonna go down one intercostal space. Now I'm in the my, or in herbs point. It's a great observation deck, right? I can, because you can hear the, the aortic and pulmonic valve at equal strength. How come I can hear, how come I don't hear the pulmonic valve at more power? Because it's closer because the aortic valve slams much harder than the pulmonic valve. Okay, so herbs point. Now I'm gonna do a big jump all the way down to the tricuspid. All pigs eat two, so we're on two. Tricuspid area, okay? And now to get to the mitral area uh, on this particular patient, I'm gonna have to have her pull her breast tissue out of the way. So could you grab your, kind of cup your breast tissue and pull it up toward this shoulder? Perfect. And the mitral area would be right in this area. And these are the auscultation areas. Don't do that. Points off, right? The old stethoscopes, you might be able to hear a pulse through your own pulse through your finger. I think on the new ones, I've tried it. You can't hear it. But just, uh, just, be ca just in case, make sure you're touching there or go down like this. All right, so that was pretty much it. Uh, you can also go backwards. So I can go mitral area tricuspid area. Okay, you can release your breast tissue now. Tricuspid area, herbs point, pulmonic area, aortic area. Got it? It's pretty much just as simple as that. Now if I ask you to, if I ask you to check for an S3 and S4 heart sound, we have to flip over to the bell. Okay, these would be my ears still. Okay, and now we have to have the patient roll a little bit to the left. Can you just roll a little bit on your left shoulder, just a little bit? Perfect, okay. That's the per we don't want her going all the way up, but this is perfect. And could you take your breast tissue again and pull it? Just pull it up, perfect. Okay, and now with the bell, we're gonna listen right at the mitral area. All right, S3 heart sound or an S S4 heart sound. Both of them are here at the mitral auscultation area, but to bring them out, you have to put the patient in the left lateral decubitus position. Got it? And what's an S3, thank you, you can lay back up now. What's the S3 heart sound? That's Kentucky, Kentucky, long, short, short. Long, short, short, like a galloping horse, ventricular gallop. Talked about that in the video. What's the, uh, what is the S4 heart sound? That's Tennessee, Tennessee. Short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Okay, if I'll, I'm gonna make you clap those out if we're back in person, uh, you're gonna have to clap those out, so make sure you know those two. Hi guys, Dr. Gillard here. Let me show you the the sit up and bend forward maneuver. I just showed you the left lateral decubitus position for S3 and S4 heart sound. Uh, so now if I ask you to 
to auscultate the base of the heart, or if I ask, ask you to auscultate the aortic valve, or if I ask you to auscultate the pulmonic valve, you're going to put the patient up in this position, have them bend forward just a tiny bit, that's fine. And you don't have to really do this because I'm talking, but you'd have them blow the air out and hold it while you do this. Again, don't go on the clavicle. Uh, so for the aortic area, we'd, we would auscultate right here. Okay, if I say auscultate the pulmonic to look for murmurs of the pulmonic valve, you would go here, not up here on the clavicle. Make sure you're down the second intercostal space. If I say auscultate the base of the heart or the semilunar valves, if you want to hear them together, you can drop down here to Herb's point, and I can hear the aortic and the pulmonic valve with the same intensity. Okay, pretty, pretty simple. Make sure you use the diaphragm, not the bell. Remember, we were just using the bell in the left lateral decubitus position. So make sure you switch it over to the diaphragm to auscultate the base of the heart. Aortic, pulmonic, both of them. All right, see you in the next video.